Are you excited to watch Animal today? Uh, I'm no. excited to get popcorn. Not excited for uh, Animal because Usse, like she doesn't like one man movies like Pushpa or just like KGF, KGF2 she didn't like those movies because those are like one man army but I like the animal or not late for 10 minute movie it's going to go, let's go there are ads now late for 10-15 minutes later then ads are ads cheetah, tiger, elephant very dangerous the theater house is full it was like 90 ये मूवी पूरी एंड तक देखा तीन घंटे छब्बीस मिनट दैट मीन्स की वी लाइक टॉक्सिक इनसेन तीन घंटे भाई ने अडल्ट्री कर ली वायलेंस कर लिया पैसे उड़ा लिए प्लेन में क्या क्या किया भाई ने पब्लिक में क्या क्या किया ड्रग्स कर लिए बाप पे चिल्ला दिया फैजान कैसी लगी मजा आया कि नहीं तीन घंटे छब्बीस मिनट बैठे हो तो शुरू में थोड़ा लगा वो थोड़ा मजा आ रहा है लेकिन बाद में पर लगा कि क्या चल गया रहा है क्यों बना है ऐसे लगा मेरा आई आई फील शुरू में सारे गिल्टी प्लेजर्स हो गए उसके बाद दे स्टार्टेड थोड़ा डीप जाना शुरू हो गया कुछ भी करना है कुछ भी किया मूवी में ऐसे मुझे लगा मुझे तो बहुत बड़ा गिल्टी प्लेजर लगा पर इंडी लगा कि बहुत शॉकिंग था कुछ चीज स्मूथ नहीं लगी जैसे कि अगर ऑब्वियस था कि कबीर सिंह की तरह अफेयर होगा इसमें भी होगा बट इट्स नॉट स्मूथ फीलिंग इन्वॉल्व फील तो हुआ फील तो हुआ बट बहुत ज्यादा जैसे कि अगर किसी ने बार भी देखी है और वो ये मूवी देखेगा वो कहेगा कि फेमिनिज्म की एम बी वन हो गई फेमिनिज्म खत्म कर दिया ऐसा लगता है ना नहीं नहीं आई थिंक इट शोज उसको कॉल आउट करता है हर कोई उसको कॉल आउट करता है उसकी वाइफ कॉल आउट करती है पापा एवरी वन कॉल्स एम आउट फॉर एवरी वन ऑफ इज टॉक्सिक थिंग्स दे टेल एम की तेरे को वायलेंस करना था तो खुद के लिए किया है तूने जो चीटिंग करी है तूने सिर्फ चीट नहीं किया तूने उससे उसको पूछा डिडी यू किस डिस्क्राइब कर डिड यू वेर इट डिड यू स्टे बैक डिड यू गेट अप ये सारी चीजें जब मुझे पूछी इट्स क्लैरिफाइंग कि ये चीटिंग ही था इट वॉज एंड जस्ट सर्विंग अ पोल इंडियन मजा आया ना चलो इंडियन मजा तो देखो ये Theater. Honest reaction. I'll be, I'll be nice at first. I'll say the good things. Um, there were like two good action scenes, um, and then other than that, I hated it. Um, <laughs> it was just like the most toxically masculine thing I've ever seen. Like we have domestic violence all the time. We have a lot of cheating and like whatever and. Um, yeah, just not respecting women. So that was great. Um, oh. I feel like I need to watch Barbie like three times now. Just <laughs> same, I said the same. Like after watching Barbie, it's like anti-feminine. I'll share in depth share karta the controversial parts. But let me tell you, my favorite part was the language sides. Bahut smiles, la laughters way. Language like Marathi, Hindi, pure Punjabi, plus kuch Telugu, or just a song, I think, Kannada bhi tha. So it was complete pan Indian movie. There is little bit of every single language of India. So I like it a lot. I'm sure if you come to the US, aate ho, you would love these movies at a cost same as India if you use VPN. Use karte ho, because now there's a Surfshark ki deal chal rahi hai, with which you can get up to 6 months free of VPN by Surfshark. Do not miss this opportunity and the links are in the description below. Now let's continue with the depth review. Pehle toh, I was shocked that people have brought kids. To the theater. Yeah, that was not okay. Hundred percent sure it's gonna be one of the most controversial and maybe hated, like whatever you might want to say. But ये माना पड़ेगा that houseful theater was sitting for a three hour, three and a half hour movie, three hour twenty six minutes or twenty one minutes. 
till the end. So there is something about guilty pleasure that people love it. So what do you think? Yeah, I mean, for me, we need to be very specific about what's a guilty pleasure in the movie. Like, I think watching movies where people are violent towards bad guys and, um, you know, taking revenge and they're all mighty and all powerful and things like that. I mean, I love action scenes, you know, so I think that's fine. Um, the thing that I just find really like disturbing and honestly kind of hurtful um, as a woman is seeing domestic violence and I just felt like in this movie it was kind of if not glorified at least not fully um, criticized. So like you're grabbing the neck and slapping and everything all the actions it seems like just like Kabir Singh movie it seems like he in the end it's okay you will be you know in the end you will be forgiven it is okay yeah that it's it's promoted that's what's sad yeah and also just like emotional abuse too i mean like the fact that he really like wants to take over control of her whole life i mean that's like a classic sign that women are told like that is emotional abuse like this is a sign of a bad relationship you need to get out of it and yeah. it's like we're supposed to root for this guy that is sad i mean it's okay to show i think like some guilty pleasures are okay to see but in the end at least should be criticized and like stopped should be called out like i think in some cases they are called out but not completely because like you know in the end i was just like kabir singh think about it in the end happy ending and then they get together like something like that well, not exactly I, but something. i mean it's fundamentally fucked up if you think that's like a guilty pleasure like behaving like abusing women is cheating like a and then pleasure. happy ending yeah I, I mean, for me, I would liken it to, I mean, first of all, I want to say that I do think that racism is a more powerful and insidious force in the United States than sexism. I think it's safe to say that women's rights have come a much further way than um, the rights of people who are not white in the United States. Um, but I feel like it's like, you know, men taking pleasure at these movies like showing domestic violence towards women would be like if a white American sees a movie that takes place you know before the civil rights movement in America and gets this like fucked up pleasure out of people treating slavery not and yeah like slavery or even just like just abusing or being bad towards um people of color like you're you're getting some pleasure out of dominating a group that's already oppressed and that's fucked up um and like i was telling her nur there's this rule in comedy called uh only punch up so comedians it's better if they poke fun at people or groups that are already powerful so like that's why i feel like it's totally fine um you know if a comedian or someone you know pokes fun at white people like oh white people do this you know like it's like well white people unfortunately are still considered you know the most powerful group in society so like it's you know like I think that's fine um, but it's definitely not okay if you're like making fun of disabled people or making fun of transgender people like these people are already oppressed so why like why would you do that like that's just not funny um and it shouldn't be like a guilty pleasure for someone that's like there's something wrong with you if that's like a guilty pleasure but i want to argue in james bond movie pehle james bond movie mein it was okay to show all of that what about that okay well first of all that's not okay um like i told him like especially the old james bond movies there's a lot of this toxic masculinity like like a lot james of bond violence would... against women yeah. that's bad yeah but do they do they also are like you know they become inspiration for bollywood somehow they also are inconclusive they're like oh you do violence against women and it's okay which is also bad yeah of course <laughs> why can't they both be bad i mean i think they're all bad and that's why we all just need to watch barbie and like heal <laughs> Because, I mean, honestly, that is, like, kind of traumatizing to see a little bit. I mean, it's not, like, terrible, but it is kind of hurtful to see. Exactly. It is. Yeah. It is. But, yeah, if they showed and then, you know, concluded, yeah, it is wrong. But the the speed at which, like, okay, so he, he let's say, does something wrong. Slapping, cheating or whatever. In few seconds, it's over. 
Yeah. It's, it, things get dissolved. And again, like, fundamentally, we're supposed to root for him, and fundamentally, he doesn't, like, recognize that what he did was wrong in that regard. Yeah. Um, Nur judges movies by smiles. He has a smile meter. How many smiles? <laughs> so, the number of smiles and laughter I had... I mean, the comedy was good. You Did you like the comedy related to, like, underwear and, like, like R-rated jokes? Yeah, there was a little bit too much talk about underwear and male genitalia for my liking. <laughs> it was kind of funny at first, and then I think they just pushed it too much. But I was happy with it. It was very funny for me, <laughs> because it's new. But uh, uh, <laughs> but I will say I rate movies, as she said, about as per how much smiles and laughters I have. The maximum I think I had with Rocky and Rani, then Pathan, then Jawan, and then, not ranking, but like these are like top movies I had laughter. I mean, this had a lot of as well, but you know, some parts were like, you know, insane. How is it possible? Like, it's just too violent. You cannot smile at those. So, yeah, less, least for this one. Yeah, um, I did get one good thing out of this experience, though. What good to, thing was? I got to eat a lot of popcorn. Yeah, really our good. favorite experience. Yeah, that was the best part, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>